What's up, guys? I am Lee Morse with fstoppers.com. Beside me here is Andy Hagedon. He's a photographer friend of ours here in Charleston, but he has no affiliation with fstoppers whatsoever. Recently, Patrick and I have been doing a lot of critique the communities, and the YouTube community in particular loves talking smack on us. How do you guys don't know what you're talking about? You're so mean. Your pictures suck, but whatever. So we brought Andy in here. He really doesn't even know what he's about to do. I said, do you want to critique some pictures today? And he said, sure. Uh, but that's really all he knows. So let me explain what we're gonna do here. We have 20 pictures, and when each picture comes up, we're gonna we're gonna go three, two, one, and you're gonna throw out a number one uh, to five. One to five. Okay. Right. Is one good or one is bad? One is bad. One right. is a five snapshot. Is okay. So like anybody in any situation. iPhone from the restaurant. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. But, but but like no thought whatsoever okay. went into it. Right. Two needs work before it hits your portfolio. Like yep. a, a photographer obviously took it but it needs work before it okay. hits your portfolio if you wanna make money. Three is a solid image yep. for your portfolio. Four is excellent. We give out a few fours here and there, and then a five is world-class, unforgettable, yeah. like such a high level that, you yeah. know. Craft foods will be buying it. Exactly, gotcha. exactly. So right. we are gonna be critiquing food photography today. Are you ready to get to it? As ready as I'll ever be. All right, so here's the first image. Yep. Are you ready to throw down a number? <sighs> Remember, snapshot is one. Right. Two needs work before it hits your portfolio, right. but there is some photography thought that went into it. Three right. is solid for your portfolio. Gotcha. All right, ready? ready? Three, two, one, two. Pair Good. of twos. See? All I right. knew we... And we didn't talk about this before. We did not We did not cheat. Um, yeah. I'm gonna let you go ahead and, and talk about why you gave this a two. Why does this need work? So I, I like the colors involved. I, I like... Yeah. Uh, the elements in here, except for the sauce on the steak. If the hero is going to be the steak in this shot, and I think it probably is the way it's positioned, it looks as if a baby has thrown up over it. Uh, the sauce on a steak, you know, can can work in certain situations, but in this case, it just is way too much. Maybe it's just underneath the steak instead of on top. It just takes away, and it just does not look uh, doesn't look appetizing. Right. I think I think the weakest link here would be the food styling. Yeah, it's yeah. Uh, no no part of this looks professionally uh, plated. No. Right. Um, the lighting, I'm having a hard time. I guess even trying to figure out where the lighting's come from. Maybe it's, it's just kind of yeah. off to the right, yeah. casting down to the side. Back camera. Right. It's not like offensively bad lighting, but it's just. Well, I I would say that that highlight on the sauce just is really distracting too. It, it definitely it's is. It's just too much. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So obviously, uh, you know, this person is putting a little bit of thought into their uh, into their photography. This isn't yeah. a snapshot taken at a restaurant, yep. but it certainly needs work before you're going to get yeah. paid. The two other elements, the two green elements at the top, really blend together too. You need something other than I don't even know what that is. Got like kimchi or something back there yeah um, you know green on green up there and then mix it up maybe put some red or some orange or something up there instead next up hmm okay some carrots all right um, well, let me know when you're ready I'm ready uh, can I give uh, a half you can't <laughs> we usually what what we, we, we do when we want to give a half is uh -huh. we ask like are you gonna be mean or nice and oh, then okay. we kind of get an idea of like uh, what, what it's gonna be I'm all gonna right. go a little bit nicer on this one uh, ready all right then I'll be the other side <laughs> three two one uh, knew it <laughs> yeah so I gave it a three you gave it a two it was a two and a half when I compare this to the last shot I certainly think it's better yeah, uh, yeah I think I the agree. food styling is much better but the the subject itself is just kind of a little wacky. I'm not sure if this was just on your website that chefs or restaurants or whatever would be drawn to this and go, wow, what an incredible plate of food. Right, right, you know? right. Again, like the, the previous image, you know, less is more, you know, less sauce. In this case, less greens. Yeah. Um, it looks like there's, you know, a grassy field over on top of these carrots right here. Uh, so I think it's a good idea. I like the composition. Um, mm -hmm. I like... You know, even the, the white area and the, the, the way the, the light is playing off the plate and things yeah, like that, that. Nice. that's okay. I'm all yeah. right with that. You know, it helps frame the subject a little bit. And the idea of these baby carrots is a good one I, because I love baby carrots like that and they're good. But um, I think the, the composition and the lighting on this is, is much better than the last shot. I, I feel agree. like the, the, just the food itself is kind of lacking for me. It seems like yeah. the photographer really knows what they're doing in this yeah. picture, but it's like, I just want to see something else on the plate. Yeah, you're right. And from that, that 
point, you know, I think moving it up to a three is probably a good a good value because it is better lit than the other one. Yeah. Um, the one we just last saw. So. Next up. It's a crabby crabby. Hmm. All right, I'm ready. All right. Three, two, one. Whoops. There we go. Three. three. All right, yep. we agree again. Yeah. Um, this this one, I think it's done pretty well. Food shot on black like this seems kind of uh, I don't know if cheesy is the right word, but cheap mm. feeling to me. Okay. Most at least current food photography is the opposite. Mm. It's done on blown right. out white. Yeah. It feels cleaner and everything. Yeah. And so when you put like whole animals in this dark scene, it it's not appetizing to me. It's kind of yeah. creepy feeling. Yeah. But when, when you do see a lot of dark stuff, you see like dark contrast in the uh, like um, cast iron skillets yes. and, yes. and stove tops and things like that. And I, and I think very rustic when it comes to that. Um, and this doesn't really play into that. Uh, for me, I think this out of focus foreground bothers me a little bit too. Mm. Um, I, you know, these elements up front, I just I feel like they should be in more focus. Not that they need to be sh tack sharp like the crab, but that just seems distracting to me. And and the whole idea of crabs sitting on top of pasta. I mean, you're not going to go to a restaurant and, and receive a dish like this. It's a it's kind of a cool concept, but yeah. I'm I'm kind of starting to lean towards a, a two at this point, just because yeah. it's so weird. I think I think from a photography standpoint, it's executed in an okay way with mm -hmm. the reflection and everything, mm -hmm. and shooting something on pure black. Yep. The lighting's okay, but but as you said, just the the presentation's really weird. The fact that it has like these onions or something in the foreground, mm -hmm. which are blurred out, it's just kind of strange. It's mm -hmm. not. I don't know. Obviously, if this photographer was hired by some restaurant or whatever to do this specific thing then good job. Like mm -hmm. you, you took a reflective picture of a crab mm -hmm. on black. It's just, I've never really seen anything like that, so. Which isn't a bad thing. You know, trying to find something that's new and different is really hard these days. Yeah. Um, yeah. There's so much, you know, good food photography out there that finding something different um, is difficult, but. All right, next up. Cool. We're incorporating a chef in this one. Gotcha, I'm ready. Pass judgment. Three, two, one. Three, three solid again. image yep. uh, for your portfolio. This yep. kind of feels like a two and a half to me, but um, I'd like to see it tighter. You know, there's a lot of empty space down here at the bottom. It doesn't need to be that way. You can crop this in a little bit tighter um, up towards the board and um, have a much nicer shot, I think. How do you feel about it being front focused on the, on the front uh, yeah, sausage, the sausage, but not what he's actually cutting. But not cutting. tack sharp, yeah, it's kind of hard to see. I would like to see that more, uh, a little bit greater focus back there. Um, I, I'm, I'm all about shallow yeah. depth of field, yeah. but in this particular case, it seems like the subject is the meat, so yeah. you would want mm -hmm. all of the meat to be focused. It's yeah. not horrible, but yeah. it just feels a little bit like yeah. a, a mistake to me. And I think styling on that little pile of already chopped meat could probably stand some help as well. It, uh, definitely it, it doesn't could. look like it was um, given a lot of um, TLC. Right, right. So, but the lighting is. is I like the lighting. Um, it, 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 it seems to be some sort of cross lighting type thing, mm -hmm. which I'm usually against, but for some reason it's, it's not as obvious here. It's, it's working for me, but I think. If 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 we can agree that the lighting is pretty good, just the styling on the food, it's almost like no thought was given whatsoever. It's like just pile it up mm -hmm. on the side over right. here. And then the fact that like half of it is blurry is kind of a big deal to me. So I, to me, this is like a two and a half, three star image. Yep. Next up. All right, I'm ready. Three, two, one. Three, four, three, four, somewhere in there. Let's, let's give it a four. You're not looking at my number and then not, changing I'm not, it. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I swear to God. <laughs> okay. I, this has got to be, this has got to be a four. I think this is beautiful. My problem is I'm yeah. having trouble knowing how many fingers there are. Yeah, I, it, it, I got it's, you. The, the kindergarten it, it, It's thing. all of them. You, yeah. ha, you can use all, all of them. All of them? Okay. Yes. Um, this is beautiful to me. Uh, yeah. When you talk about like 
the the lack of food styling in the mm -hmm. last few shots compared right. to the food styling mm -hmm. here with just a little bit of garnish on the top of the oyster yeah. and and how pretty these oysters are as well yeah. we have a ton of oysters here in charleston i eat them all the time it's rare to find oysters that look that good right and then the fact that you know they have it blurred out in just the right way so that your eye doesn't naturally go to the beer or whatever mm -hmm. it goes right to that oyster right in the front yeah. i think it's excellent yeah so, so I'm trying to decide, you know, why this wouldn't be a five. Okay. And I, I'm, I'm looking at it, I'm looking for errors in this. And so far, other than maybe tweaking where that lemon is, that, and, and maybe yeah. this, you know, blank spot up there in the top left, those are a couple of things that irritate me. Maybe that this is a little bit hot down here in the lower right, you know, because... So, okay, so you might add a little vignette in the yeah, bottom right? Just to, just to help create some more focus on your... Because right now, you're, the lightest part of the subject is right down here in the lower right. Right. So your eye is naturally drawn to that spot, and you want that focused right there. Hmm. Um, it but, does, I mean, it, yeah. it's really ticky-tack stuff. So it's like a four, four and a half, maybe. Okay. Yeah. We usually say that a five-star image is, you know, world-class or yep. unforgettable. Unforgettable. And so okay. in some cases... It's, it's like the photographer did absolutely everything they could. It's a flawless shot, yeah. but it's just the subject matter that they're shooting yeah. isn't really unforgettable. It's okay. the difference between like taking a great portrait of somebody and then doing that exact same thing with a celebrity. Yep. The celebrity might push it over yeah, to the yeah, five because... Gotcha. Of... Yeah, so solid four. Okay, yeah. next up. Hmm. All right. All ready? Ready? Three, two, one. Three. Three stars as well. Yep. And I will point out here, guys, how similar we are. <laughs> <laughs> Once again, we have no affiliation <laughs> with each other or this. We haven't uh, looked at these pictures at all. So I, I think our ratings are, are pretty spot on. But um, this one, I, I'm kind of leaning towards a two and a half again. I was mm -hmm. a little bit nice. The, the background is really weird to me. Mm, it, it's yeah, almost it was, like, it, was that added in like that? Or is that natural brownish gray back there? Yeah. It almost looks like it was cut out in Photoshop and then added somehow. Um, Possibly. It, something Possibly about it doesn't see, look natural to me. It lines around the plate there. Yeah, that highlight around the plate doesn't look yeah. natural. Um, the, the shrimp uh, looks okay. I think the food styling could be a little bit better again. Mm -hmm with the shrimp that's in the chopsticks, but then I think you could do a lot better food styling on the plate yeah. to make it look uh, a lot more appetizing. I think the plate may be a little bit too big. Um, there's a lot of black space in there, a little wasted black space. So if the plate were a little bit smaller, it might help the subject, again, being a little bit tighter on this. The, the, the kale and the tomatoes and the slaw, whatever's back there, you know, you need something back there, but what does that add to this dish? Um, thinking from the restaurant's perspective, are you really going to serve uh, those shrimp with tomatoes and red cabbage? Um, yeah, I don't probably know. Probably not. Probably not in a, yeah. in a really high-end restaurant. Um, yeah. But, you know, the highlights on the shrimp might be a little bit too much right here. Yeah. I might have taken just that um, healing brush in, in Photoshop or something and taken out some of those highlights right there on the tail mm -hmm. um, just because it's awfully bright. I like the ones here on the edge though. It feels to me like the lighting, is, especially on this, the main shrimp, is a little flat. It's like, yes, there is there is this kicker light coming in from uh -huh. the side, but the light from the front seems like direct flash or something. Mm -hmm. I'd like to see a little bit more angled light to create some texture and shape on the shrimp, doesn't it just kind of look like a direct on-camera flash type thing from the front? No, I think you're full of shit. Yeah? <laughs> no. We don't, we don't really need you here anymore, so thanks for coming. <laughs> no. Um, I, I, you know, you're getting all sorts of, you know, highlight up there in the front, the, the little I think caramelization. That's coming, I think that's coming from a, a right. light that's over here. Uh -huh. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe, maybe I am full of shit. All right, we ready to move on? Yeah, sure. Okay. I don't know what's going on here. Yeah, a lot. There's a lot going on there. That's what. That's what's going on. Uh, all right, you ready? Try let's, this one. Let's do it. Three, two, one. Two stars. Needs work definitely. Yep. Um, it's certainly not a snapshot. Like mm -hmm. a lot of work went into this. Yeah. But um, this is this is just weird on a lot of levels. <laughs> uh, the food styling. I don't know what's happening with mm -hmm. that. Um, the the fact that there's like 
I, I, I assume this is some sort of uh, herb or something on the side. Oh. It's not just like weeds. Yeah, no, no, no. It looks like it's a thyme, probably. It, but it just time. doesn't look like any thought was put into like how it was placed. It's like the well, ones on the yeah, left are know, kind of going sideways. That is so tough, though, too, to try to get organized chaos, you know, to, to go out there and, and place it look so it looks messy, but it still looks beautiful. You know, it's very hard to do. And mm -hmm. I think this one particularly that goes across the grain yeah. of that other stem, that one that one fools with me a little bit. I don't like that. Yeah, I don't um, like that either. And, yeah. and then the way that the the limes are mm -hmm. cut yeah. are really weird. Like I've never mm -hmm. seen limes cut like that yeah. uh, in a photograph. Yeah. And then the fact that the bottom of the frame is so bright compared to the top of the frame. Yeah. And yeah. then it also seems like, maybe this is an optical illusion, but it seems like there's more space on the bottom of the frame below the plate than above mm -hmm. right. the plate. Yeah. Um, it seems like, you know, even if they had just put the knife on the bottom rather than on the top, it yeah. might've balanced it out a little bit more. Yeah, yeah, and that would work too because you've got that darker end of the knife on the handle of the knife that really kind of fades into the background, at least on the screen here. Yeah. It just, um, it, it bleeds right into that black um, edge of the, the table and you can't even see the end of the knife. Now maybe if you have it down there and then crop the whole thing down, I agree, I think losing some of that time, again, less is more. You might've been able to get away with just that time on the right hand side, a little less salt that's scattered around. I love the scattered look, like, you know, it's a little messy, but right now it kind of looks like a star, star field. And um, it's just a little too, a little bit too much. But I, I think that- as, as far as, the, I'm sorry, go ahead. Oh, I was just gonna say that I feel like even if the photographer had made all these changes, I don't think there's much you can do to save the, the, the plating here. Yeah. It's like, that is <laughs> such a, a mess of stuff that no amount of lighting or composition yeah. is going yeah. to save. You look at these shadows down here in the, the lower left of the plate. That looks odd. You know, obviously it's backlit with those shadows well, coming forward. Look at, look at these shadows oh, yeah, down the at edge. the bottom of the middle of the plate. Yep. Like, is yep, that a are... Photoshop fix error mm -hmm. slash something? I, like, I can't tell what's going on. It's like the shadow's inverted somehow, and the shadow towards the left side is dark, but then towards the middle there is like yeah. bright, like somebody tried to erase it out or yeah. something. I'm not sure. Yeah, so there's so much going on with this plate too, with the, the eggs and the, the berries and the sauces. I mean, it, it, it looks like it's probably a tuna tartare or something like that, um, but it's so hard to tell because there's just so much going on. Um, less is more, less is more, yep. and less is more. Next up. All right, let me know when you're ready for this one. Uh, this one, uh, this one I can go. All right, you ready? Three, two, one. Whoa, four star, I give it a yeah. three. Okay, uh, why, uh, why four? Why four, I love the vertical nature of this. I love the empty space that's involved. You know, something for an editorial uh, job. They have tons of room for type. Um, this could easily be a cover with all sorts of um, uh, blurbs down the side of the page. Mm. Um, you could run that headline over the top. You probably want a little more room at the top, but that looks good. It uh, looks like an Osobuco to me, maybe. Um, and I'm a big fan of Osobuco. So, um, yeah. Um, I generally, I love the shape and the, the graphic nature of that image. That's why I like it. I, I agree. Um, the reason why I didn't give it a four, I just don't find it to be uh, that interesting. Certainly, if you start adding copy into it and the mm -hmm. photographer needed to shoot it in this way for the copy to fit, then all of a sudden it's like, I have to think about it in another yeah, way. Yeah. I'm thinking about it just in the sense of like this picture on your website. It's certainly good. Like, I don't think anybody's going to look at it and go, oh, what a terrible photograph why is that on your website but I also I'm not wowed by it like I am most four photographs mm -hmm. it just it's solid to me yeah. it's just a solid picture yeah so uh I can't decide if I like that little micro green on there or not yeah I keep looking at that too it, um it, it looks like it was placed with thought though yeah, yeah I'm sure it was it didn't it didn't just fall there probably with tweezers yeah um and and I think I like it you know, it adds a little bit of color up there to the top, where otherwise it would be very neutral colors. Um, it gives a little, you know, area of focus on there. What do you think about the blown out, is that corn on top? I don't know what these pieces are right here on the front. Either bar, maybe a barley or something. I don't know, like, it, it, does it look a little blown out to you though? Yeah, but blown out's okay. Okay. In, in this case, I, I don't mind it at all, because you're working on a dark background, it, it looks good. 
Um, I think the colors of the table and the background work well in this one. Um, let's see. I mean, you do have a, a ton of highlights on that meat. Mm -hmm. And so it looks maybe a little oversauced, a little too glazed, if you will. They mm -hmm, put too much mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, on, on that. It just looks look a little wet. But I mean, it, you know, it look, should look juicy. So that's ticky tacky on my part. Okay. Three, four, somewhere in there. Cool. Hmm. All right, I'm ready. Okay. Three, two, one, three stars. Yep. Um, I would love to give this a, a four, but there's just some things that are weird to me. First of all, uh, the the strawberries themselves aren't really cutting it for me. Like, at least they, they are red in color. Mm -hmm. They're not like the gross white ones, but they just don't look like, you know, the strawberries themselves maybe aren't that bad, but the leaves on top just kind of seem exactly, kind of that's crappy. Exactly, you stole my piece. Okay. Yeah, I don't know that, you know, when, when a professional stylist, they would start off with about 150 berries <laughs> and go through hand by hand and pick those three out of 150. They, they might even pick the leaves, leaves off and <laughs> paste them back onto <laughs> yeah. one yeah. perfect if they strawberry couldn't find you right. Absolutely to right. get it just right. And these look a little messy. Maybe they were going for that, I don't know. Uh, maybe they wanted it to look messy, uh, but I think to me, to my eye, it's a little distracting. Yeah, it's a little bit too much. So, and here's here's the other thing that's really weird. I I I, I don't mind the uh, the dropping sugar or whatever. Mm -hmm. um, the lighting's okay. I don't really know what's up with this weird white halo mm -hmm. behind it. Yeah, it, it's it, it's it, not symmetrical. Right, which, which right. may be on purpose. Um, but you know what, Hell, you could easily see something very similar to this in product packaging. Right, and that's why you know? it's, 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 not, it's not bad, and we both mm -hmm. gave it a three. So yep. it's a solid image for yep. your portfolio. Yep. But it just seems like there was a lot of thought that went into this, mm -hmm. um, and I would just like to see it executed with a little bit more yeah. Yeah. attention to detail. So tell me this, do you think those grains are going in the wrong direction, all that sugar? So these trails actually lead you know, if if you see, mm, yeah, doesn't it look like they're all going in the wrong direction to you? It, yes, like jumping it does. into the frame and, that, and jumping up. That's an issue with the, the with the flash duration. The flash is is mm. reaching its full peak and then it's tailing off slowly. Could be, yeah. Um, yep. And so as the sugar is falling down, it's it's getting white, and yeah. then it's and then as the flash is, yeah. so yeah, I I, I don't Ra rather than Photoshop. That somebody yeah, I think that, I think this was really done, yeah, okay. um, and I think you can also see that this was done with a studio strobe rather than a speed light. I would assume because of those tails. I don't mm -hmm. think speed lights would do that. Yeah. Um, so that's another detail that like I certainly noticed the second I looked at this picture, and I couldn't decide like eh, is that worth complaining about or not. It probably is, but 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 you know you know what I might I don't I don't know if there was some way to like reverse the tails then mm -hmm. you think you'd like it more. Yep, exactly. I'm trying to think how you. It would look it would look natural that. to my eye. How would you so. do that? You uh, might have to Photoshop. Do it in Photoshop. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. if your flash does this naturally, there's really nothing. That's, you that's can do. the way I would tackle it. Next up. Ooh. Cool. All right. Ready. Three, two, one, four stars. We agree. Yep. The one thing that's a little strange to me is the crop weird to you, or do you like that? No, I'm okay with the crop. I'm I'm okay with it. Yeah. It's just, and, and I, I certainly don't want a uh, symmetrical crop. Mm -hmm, right. But it's just, I don't know, just to have like that little bit of dead space above the plate. I don't, I, I'm not saying mm, I dislike yeah. it, but yeah. it's just a little strange. Yeah. So, another thing... I don't know, the chopsticks right there, are they in a good spot? I don't know, it might, might come in a little bit closer, but that's real ticky-tacky yeah, or, stuff. Yeah, or like lay them across the plate a little bit and kind of have yeah, some maybe. leading lines a little bit that are yeah. going up to the yeah. side. I'll bet I, you they have versions like that. Maybe so. I yeah. love the the blue on blue background though. Yeah, I yeah. think that looks so slick. Time on that gray plate with the yeah. colors in the food, yeah. this is just like, 
This got really, a lot really of popular. Well we talked done. about dark colors earlier of that yeah. crab. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This yeah. is a perfect example where dark colors really help right. set that food apart. Right. Um, and it's natural. It's got a lot of texture to it. And the, the burlap or the, the napkins up there, the grain in the table, the grain in the plate, all playing you know. these different textures. And you think about food. Food is about flavor and texture. And, um, and I love how they've used texture in this photograph. Yeah. Um, the lighting is spot on. Um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I think the lighting looks great. And the food styling is just, it's better on this than anything we've seen yeah. yet. I would say that there's probably a little bit more going on than you need. Uh, yeah, um, yeah, that's probably true. I'd probably take away a few things off that plate. Um, but other than that, I think it looks, uh, it looks delicious and uh, it's well thought out. See, so, yeah. yeah. it's, like, it's like in a, in a wine sauce or something like that. This is my favorite image so far, yeah. for sure. Yeah. Next up. Mm. Okay. Three, two, one. One. One yeah. star. Wow. Yeah. Okay, I gave it a two. I, I felt I had to, to find one in here that, <laughs> that would set set the bar. Yeah. Um, this is the, the weakest shot we've seen so far. I don't know what's coming up, but um, lighting is real flat. It's mm -hmm. just not interesting at all. Um, the food doesn't look good. It's just so plain. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, nice idea of, you know, somebody pouring a sauce over a plate, but it doesn't do it for me. And then you've got all these other elements, like a post-it note down here on the left-hand side. <laughs> I don't and know what that is. Maybe some sweet potatoes yeah. down in the lower right. Eh. Yeah. yeah. The, the reason why I didn't give it a one, we reserve ones for snapshots and and yeah. usually like we see a lot of ones in uh like landscape photography everybody okay. takes a picture of like a sunset or whatever yeah this certainly could be a snapshot at some restaurant or whatever mm. and you were just like oh yeah. let me just get that yeah. real quick um i'm just i'm trying to decide if light was set up for this image mm -hmm. and it was just set up in a really weird way where mm. like got... i can't even tell which way it's the lights coming from well the shadows are down there but is that but i think so that might be from the looked, hand and the spoon and yeah. then you know there's shadows down here as yeah, well but right. then there's shadows going this way it because there's so many shadows going in different directions and you can see like the edge of the plate shadow has yeah. so many different things yeah. it makes me think that there wasn't light put on this and it was just like can lights in the kitchen or whatever um so for that i might lean more towards the one like okay this was just that's just the yeah. way it looked and you took the picture yep but something about this with the way that the spoon is putting everything on there, yep. it seems planned to me, and that's why I gave it a two. Yeah. But, um, yeah. All right, let's move on. Okay. <laughs> Speaking of snapshots, <laughs> <laughs> three, two, one. <laughs> okay. So we're going to reverse. Now, yeah, okay. So this one at least is pretty. It might be a snapshot, but the last one just didn't look good at all. Huh. You know, okay. this could be a snapshot. I mean, you could be in a in a greenhouse somewhere and have nice, beautiful, soft light, which they obviously do. Uh -huh. You know, good, wrappy light. Um, but at least this is beautiful. I would disagree with the word beautiful. Okay. Certainly, <laughs> um, I just feel like you know, if you if you take a picture of lettuce like this. You're gonna want it to look cold, and it's gonna have the little droplets of water on it. Sure, and everything. And that would be a three. Okay. Yeah. Um, you know, if you I put don't a little know, more thought into yeah, it. Yeah, I don't know if this composition is gonna be a three for me, unless yeah. like this composition with this lighting. I just, I don't know. And and there's parts of it that you know look kind of dirty, and it just, it just, this yeah. screams snapshot to me. This screams like, oh, I was in the grocery store, and like I just <laughs> real quick took a took a picture of this, you know, with with a fluorescent <clears throat> tube above it. Yeah. That's what it looks like okay. to me. All right. So that's why I gave it a one. Next. All right then. Okay. Three, two, one. Two, three. I was on the fence. Two and a half seems right to me. Yeah. Uh, it looks really messy to me. Yeah. Um, it just looks a little sloppy. Um, and by sloppy, I'm not talking about lighting and exposure and things. I just mean the food itself just looks, doesn't look like it's well styled. Um, the, the, the items themselves just don't fit well. It almost looks like they're sitting in Tabasco. Oh, yeah, it does kind of look like that, doesn't it? Um, it's an ad for Cholula. I will say, when I was like really into photography in my portfolio and I was taking pictures every single week, uh, maybe like eight or nine years ago, I 
got up with Patrick and I said, hey man, let's do a picture of, uh, it was like ice cream in a bowl, kind of like this, you know, yeah. with the fruit and everything. Yeah. And he's like, yeah, let's do it. It was the biggest disaster of a photo shoot, probably of my entire well, you career. ice cream for one. Yeah, and, and, and then I learned later that hard. like no ice cream is real and thing. I didn't know this. Yeah. Um, so I certainly understand how hard it can be to make things that are like slowly wilting in front or quickly wilting oh, in front yeah, of you yeah. look good. Yeah. I think the lighting on this, uh, it's it's too harsh in my opinion. Yeah. I don't like the highlights coming from like the back and the side and the left and the right all yeah. at the same time. I don't mind highlights coming from the back. I think that's really prevalent in food photography, but having like the hard light coming in from the right or wherever it is to reflect off of the front of these yeah. uh, strawberries, it's yeah. just, it's it's too contrasty for me yeah. for how yeah. delicate this yeah. should be. But like, I think the glasses look great and the way that they, you know, they're staggered back in the triangle position, I think that yeah. looks really nice. It looks good. I would like to see a little bit more, because right now you have this horizontal landscape line right there. Mm -hmm. I'd like to see some more height in that. Mm. Maybe bring this front glass down just a little bit, maybe towards camera or pan up a little bit with the camera. Mm -hmm. So you get a little bit more triangular um, like composition that. Yeah. Okay. of that. And then maybe add a little bit of height to this cup so that yeah. the product yes, right. it, and it's it's hard because we're critiquing this not knowing what this shot was for like maybe this is what the restaurant delivers to the table and they can't show it no. six inches higher because right. it's not right. that's not what it looks like but next up this is very interesting it is <laughs> i don't know what Isn't in the like world a, a tiramisu cake of some sort or okay um all right. Three, two, one. Two stars, we a pair. agree. A pair of stars. I feel like the lighting on this looks really good. Yeah. Um, I, okay. Like the detail and all the little yeah. chocolate or whatever, yeah. you know, the, the crumbs on there are, it looks great, but like whatever this blob is just is not up yeah. to snuff for a photographer's portfolio. Mm -hmm. No, no, I think you're right about uh, about lighting. Lighting, lighting could work on something like this, but the cake, I guess, is what it is. It just is not done. I mean, it. This piece right here, oh God, that just bothers the heck out yeah, of me. The it looks bottom like right some, of it. That's know, what bothers you. He's looking, <laughs> okay. he's looking at the bottom right. right of looks this like thing. my kid just took his finger in there and you know <laughs> popped a taste out of it. Um, it just seems like so much more wrong than that. Well, that's that's a good place to start. <laughs> okay. Uh, you know what I think I like about the lighting here is like you have you have this warm light coming in from the left mm -hmm. but then you have these cool highlights off the top of the chocolate mm -hmm. it just I don't know I, I'm not exactly sure if that was on purpose or what but the the way that warmth and coolness in this picture works oh it has so much potential like if you if you just took this ugly blob out and put in like a perfectly cut piece of chocolate cake that had these highlights and colors on it, yeah. it would be amazing. Yeah, it could be, yeah. But uh, there's just not much as a photographer you can do with something yeah. like that. Yeah, good effort. Uh, stick with the lighting options and see if you can come up with a, a better cake. Yeah. All right. Three, two, one. Oh, I was on the fence, but perfect. I gave it a three. I think it's, I think it's okay. I'm going to say again, and you can say I'm full of shit, but I don't like the lighting, like the lighting on the scene looks great. Mm -hmm. The lighting on the glass, it doesn't make it look three dimensional. Like what is up with this highlight to the right of the glass mm -hmm. and then the highlight on the left of the glass? It, it's like this 45-45 lighting. It's almost like a snoot on either side. And I don't mm -hmm. know if that's been burned back in, in in Photoshop or whatever. But I would I would so much rather you have one light like way in the back behind that jar back there just edging out the edge of the glass and the top of it. And then just a soft box to the to the right, and it, yeah. it would just it would just create these beautiful shadows across the berries in the glass. Right. What you want is good depth and good saturation in here to make those berries and make that chocolate look good. Um, I assume it's chocolate in there, um, but it doesn't really it doesn't really come across as a good you know a good chocolate. It just looks more like poo. 
<laughs> the other thing that bothers me is like all the fingerprints on the uh, mm. the measuring the cup. Yeah. It's uh, it's just attention to detail and. Even if somebody who doesn't even think about photography or food photography sees this, they may not point that out and go, ah, why didn't you clean that off? Uh. But it's just this mood overall. When somebody goes to your portfolio, like how much attention to detail mm -hmm. are you giving each one of your pictures? Now I would say if there's like a big smudge or something on the glass that really took away from it, I'd be with you. But this is a this is a in process photo. You know, they've got the spilled chocolate in front, um, which is a nice idea. I think it looks a little a little staged and fakey in there. Um, but I'm not I'm not too worried about the the smudges on the um, really? on the measuring cup. Okay. I would like to see a little more volume above the rim of the glass too. Just something peeking yeah. above the glass yeah. to give that hard edge a, a breakup. So it's no, you know, it's it's not um, it just has a little more interest. And then on the right side, it looks like there's a, a salad hanging on the wall or something. And um, I love the left side. I think even cropped, cropped like that, it's a better shot, you know? Uh -huh. If you take that right side out of there, yeah. I think it's prettier. Uh, hmm. That color in the background yeah, yeah, to me right. bothers me. Okay. I love the, the raspberries and um, the one is is I don't know. Black sea salt? It's like sesame seeds. <laughs> I'm not sure. <laughs> All right, next up. All right, you ready? Uh, yeah, 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 let's see. Yep, I can do it. Three, two, one, four stars. Fours. Uh, this is a beautiful shot. Yeah. Uh, it just feels like morning sunlight coming in from the side and uh, the berries look great and the, the, the whole scene, a lot of thought's been put into this and it just looks Great. Yeah, there are, there are a few tweaks I think in styling and not having both of the, or all three of these openings facing the camera I think bothers me a little bit. Mm, that's a good. The point. turnover mm. um, in the foreground. Um, I'd like to see one of those berries uh, rotated so you see the end better. Um, but the drizzle, I think they've done a good job with the front drizzle here. That looks mm -hmm. nice. It looks wet. There's a little bit of reflection in there, but it's not blown out. It's not crazy. Um, I would like to see it maybe a little bit warmer. It doesn't really look like morning sunlight to me it looks a little bit cooler than that oh, I see. Uh, but okay. that's just you know my eye I, I tend to towards warm things yeah I, I could see the pushing the white balance a little bit um, but overall I mean anything that I would pick out about that image is really just ticky tacky stuff yeah. just good, Next good shot okay three two one Two yep. stars. Two. Yep. Um, this one, maybe the food does look good, but it's out of focus. Like, yeah. it's a really weird picture yeah. to submit to this, uh, to, to, to get this tight of a crop and then to back focus on it. Right. Uh, seems really strange. That, that is spot on with what I was going to say. The fact that it's focused back here behind, I don't know, it looks like a crispy skin or something. It's up. I think your focus needs to be in the front here on the green and the carrot. Styling wise, I think it's got a lot of potential. Yeah. Um, I'm not sure that's the, it, it probably is a really good angle for this. Um, I don't think shooting down on it is the right way I to go since you've got- I think it's way too tight, don't you? I think, it's, you know, dropping back might be okay. I don't think it's way too tight. Really, so you like this composition if the focus was just different? What bothers me a little bit is that edge that's leading over the the, an outer frame at the top. I want to know what that is, hmm. uh, which is another good point. I don't know what that is. Um, it could be like a crispy fish skin, maybe, um, but it looks like it's chicken, so maybe it's chicken skin, which is awesome, by the way, um, with some chilies and, you know, the, the, the carrot there that's pointing directly at the camera is just weird. I think that needs to be styled differently. Um, but yeah, I mean, you look at the other options, either go lower, go higher, or rotate the plate. And um, I'm not sure it's a, it's a bad composition frame-wise. Huh. All right, I, I guess I have to completely disagree and just say like, I think a focus shift on this would not make this a three-star image for me. Yeah. I think the lighting's a little weak. Um, it, it, once again, it just, I'd like to see more shadows and stuff on the food. Um, and then it's so hard to tell what I'm looking at, especially because it's out of focus, but also just because you're so, you're like right in 
right in it. I would much rather back up like we've seen a lot of the other shots and see kind of the whole plate of food there and really see it as an artistic piece with the food planning itself rather than just like getting right in there and just having food kind of going all over the place. Next up, I do not know what this is. It's rhubarb. Oh, okay. What did you do? Yeah. I got to believe it's rhubarb. All right. Um, all right. It's a, it comes to a half again for me. All right. Three, two, one. I'm being nice on that what? one. What? You two, gave two that a three? Two and a half or three. You know, your color on color is uh, is uh, daring. You know, it is. It, it, no, you Daring. don't. It, it, all right, <laughs> having red Daring. rhubarb on, on on a pink background, it's different. You know, it, it comes across as being a little different. Maybe it's because I loved rhubarb pie when I was growing up. Yeah, I, okay. I, I kid you not. No. <laughs> <laughs> and you know, you don't find people photographing rhubarb. I said it was probably between a two and a three for me. It was a yeah. two and a half. I, I thought for sure you were thinking one and two. One and two. One and two. No, because they they took some time. Obviously, I don't think it's a snapshot because I think they. They colored, they put some colored light in there or... I mean, know. to me, this looks just like they just went crazy with the, the yeah. hue slider in oh. Photoshop. Like this, yeah, this yeah. wasn't like, let's get the pink gel and yeah. gel it pink. It's yeah, like, okay. let's move the hue slider to neon yeah. pink and like, we're done. Boy, I tell you what, you, you might be swaying me on this one. <laughs> I think I'm letting my childhood uh, influence my opinion. Because, you know, just the... The raw ends of the, the rhubarb and things like that just kind of are starting to annoy me too. And I don't know. It's because I'm wearing a purple shirt today. I, I, I just, I don't really get the point of this image. I think, I always think from the, point, uh, the, the perspective of a commercial photographer and a client is coming to your website and they're saying like, I want to hire this guy or gal to shoot my food. And then they see this. Mm -hmm. And maybe they love rhubarb pie too, <laughs> but why not put the pie in there? Why no, not yeah. have it lit well with normal light so you can actually tell what it is? Instead, it's you know it's just neon pink. Yeah. It's just it's very. Uh, you know what I would to love to see? I was I would love to see about ten images um, that would fit with this one because mm. that that would really tell me whether or not this is their style. Maybe if they're really saturated poppy colors, mm -hmm. and that's what they'd get hired for. Um, because well, it is yeah. different from a lot of the other food photography I've seen. Okay, here, here's my argument with that, and I think you're right. Like images like this can sometimes fit really well within uh, uh, like a magazine article uh, about a chef or something. Mm -hmm. You know, you have 20 images that are right. this montage type thing. It'd be great for that, but I don't think it should be in your portfolio individually by itself. You see what I mean? Right, because because I think there's a lot of people like me that maybe a lot of work was put into this to gel it pink like that. Mm -hmm. But somebody like me or a graphic designer looks at it and goes, "Why did you just move the hue slider over to a weird area?" So yeah. if if there's the potential that somebody's going to look at it and have my point of view, I just think just pull it out of your portfolio. Just like I'm sure this photographer has a thousand other pictures that mm -hmm. I wouldn't look at and go, "Wow." Yeah. Why would you do that? that? Unless they have, you know, 25 shots in their portfolio that are all super colorful. Then maybe there are, you know, bright green on green and bright, you know, blue on blue. And that's, you well, know, Well, then I think that should be like a like style. a section of the website. You know how photographers will have like a theme yeah. and it'll, it'll say like color. colors. Yeah. And then within that, then it would make a little bit Something more Something really, sense. really. Uh, that's fair. Creative like colors. Yeah. <laughs> Next up. A little baby octopus. A poor octopi. Okay. What did I give the last one? A two? I give it. I give the last one a three. You gave the last one a three. Yeah, you're, See, you're now never going to live stuck. that one down. Yeah, I might. People I had might respect not. for you until that moment. <laughs> oh, because now I'm stuck. All right. Uh, three, two, one. What is wrong with you? So you went to three on that one, and I went to two. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I'm just trying to, I'm bouncing all over the place now. Um, this one just doesn't feel good to me. I, I think the octopus just doesn't, it's just weird right there. Um, yeah, it certainly is. Um, and the lighting is just really, I don't know, lighting seems really... I think the lighting is pretty good. I would love to see them add a backlight coming in and hitting across all that salad 
and then just giving a little edge light to mm -hmm. the uh, octopus itself. But um, it's just, it's, it's a little weird. I, uh, I'm not sure what this image is for. Yeah. Because obviously the restaurant would never deliver the salad like this. Right. Um, so, so maybe if there's a, the octopus is at the end of a fork and there's a fork leaning in there with the octopus at the end, yeah. that, that might work better for you? Yeah, yeah, a little bit. It, it looks like there might be one more octopus back there in the salad. Off to the right, yeah, yeah. I don't know what that is. Um, yeah, I struggle because I feel like this was, the composition's fine, the, the, the lighting is nice, the colors and everything are nice. It's just, it's just a little weird. Yeah. Uh, I, I mean, I wonder if they uh, meticulously put that, was that lemon zest on the octopus right there? A little dusting know. of that on there. I, um, I, I agree with you that it just feels out of place and the, the salad doesn't look pretty enough. All right, final image. Ending on the beef. Mm -hmm. All righty then. Ready? Still I'm thinking? a little torn here. I'm gonna go a little harsher than I normally would. Ooh. All right. <laughs> Three, two, one. Three stars. Yep. Uh, um, I was on the fence. I was thinking about giving this a four. It just, the I think the steak looks great. Like the styling of the steak, it may be a little bit too reflective for my taste. Yeah. It looks almost like it has it like metallic. motor oil on yeah, it, it or something. Metallic, yeah. um, and I think that has to do with like the, the cross lighting that you've done where it's like, you know, reflecting from every <clears> angle. <throat> I think the two little uh, uh, tomatoes. Tomato in the, well, I thought that was a smear of ketchup. I think it's a it, tomato it, it's cut a tomato. in half. Okay. It's just a little small to me. They're too symmetrical too. Yeah. yeah. Um, but, and, and maybe like the post-processing, it seems like uh, they were doing some micro contrast to the steak and maybe just went a little bit too far. With yeah. Like the high pass filter type yeah. thing, you know, where it's like they're, they're bringing out detail within right. the, the detailed areas. Yeah. But it's good. Like, I, I almost gave it a four, certainly. And also, I might like to see a little bit more of a vignette or something on the edges. I'm not... Well, I think if you, you rotate that cutting board a little bit and crop Rotate in, it to the yeah, left? Yeah, go counterclockwise okay. with the cutting board. You can crop in, get rid of some of that dead space of the table. Um, the table doesn't offer you a lot of great detail. It's just a, a pretty boring wood table. I would yeah. like to see that on a dark slate mm -hmm. or something that, mm -hmm. um, or, you know, even... Um, you know, just something something really dark to help make it pop because the, the wood table just kind of is bland. Um, the knife is not a great knife. Um, I would like to see maybe something a little bit different in the way of uh, the knife that they chose. Um, and I think the cook on the meat isn't all that great. You know, this piece right here, um, it doesn't look appetizing to me. What, it looks overcooked to you? Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, so... The, the ring around the, the rare um, piece of it just is really thick and there's no juice to it. It's reflective, mm. but there's no juice to that. Uh, that's, a, that's a great point. Yeah, something I didn't really think about. But yeah, that's a great point. The outside appears juicy because it's like got too much oil or something, but then yeah. when they cut it, yeah. it should be, that should be the juicy part. Yeah, exactly. And it's not there. You need yeah, I didn't even think about that. Injections in there. Get it to... Injections. Yeah, <laughs> just get it some touches in there so it's uh, so it's oozing. Okay. Yeah, oozing it. And there's no juice on the board. You know, I'd like to see some juice on the board too. If, in fact, you really just cut that steak after it's rested for a little bit. And, man, I tell you what, there should be some juice coming out. And, and again, that looks like somebody put ketchup on there and smeared it with their thumb. Of course... On the bottom. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that's just kind of weird, um, the way those tomatoes are placed. Um, basil's all right. It's a little small, maybe, um, but it's okay. You don't want it huge. And then it looks like it's got some garlic on there or something, which I guess is okay. We've said all about what we can say for this all one. All right. Well, guys, that is all 20. Thank you for watching. For next week's Critique the Community, we're doing something a little bit special. We have these bags by Hex here 
These are really cool camera bags, and we're gonna be giving away both of these camera bags to two individual photographers randomly who we choose to critique their pictures. We're gonna put all 20 names in a hat next week, remove two names, and they're gonna win uh, each one of these bags. And next week's critique is going to be on lifestyle photography. So it has to be people doing things. It can't Outdoor just, lifestyle? It can be outdoor, but I think yep. like, you know, if, if somebody wants to be sunbathing too, I think that's okay. Like outdoor <laughs> type lifestyle stuff, but, but it can't just be a portrait of somebody outside. They need to right. be living some sort of right. lifestyle. And uh, if you're a lifestyle photographer, you'll probably enjoy having another backpack Absolutely, to you're out and about. tote your bag around. If you're unfamiliar with how to sign up for the next critique, go on fstoppers.com, create a portfolio. Each week we do a post that just says, hey, submit your pictures that are, in this case, lifestyle pictures. All you have to do is put it in the comments. We will choose 20 people randomly. And then if you get into the next critique, you have a one in 10 chance of winning a free bag. We'll see you next week. If you enjoyed this photography related video, check out some of our other photography tutorials and behind the scenes videos here. And please feel free to subscribe to the official F-Stoppers YouTube channel below.